Hi everyone, this is a presentation of my Joyrider modification. The original Joyrider was created by Ken Hill. The motorized modification was created by Thanos, also known as uh, Tronic. The software was uh, produced by uh, Thanos as well. And software for capturing the motion of Falcon Allied Force was produced by Ian Hopper. Here you see several pictures of the motorized Joyrider. For those familiar with the previous model, you can see that there have been several assemblies added to allow the um, device to move on its own. This is just a small shot of the white fiber board that I project the action of the sim onto. And here's the projector and the projector assembly. On the uh, arm, you can see the Aura interactor. This is a side view of the front of the device. You can see the uh, pitch motor assembly. This is the bank motor assembly, and you can clearly see the um, fan belt that attaches to the rig. Uh, this is just a detail at the base of the pitch assembly and some of the electronics. This little three-prong gadget is a Hall effect sensor and it is in very close proximity to a round rare earth magnet. This allows position feedback uh, for the motor. Here's the car battery with which I power the whole thing and you can see that orange thing in the back, that's a battery charger, very important. Here are the electronics. The green guy in the front is a basic stamp. Um, that's the brains of the whole thing. Uh, the two small boxes are motor controllers and there are various switches present as well. Here is one of the two windshield wiper motors that run the whole deal. As you can see they're pretty small but they're pretty powerful. Here's an interior view of the cockpit. You can see the seat with the five-point harness, the CH uh, throttle and stick, um, the CH multifunction panel. You cannot see the rudder pedals underneath the multifunction panel. Hi everyone, it's Webb. Thank you for joining me today. This is going to be a demonstration of the motorized Joyrider. I hope you enjoy it. I project the action onto a small screen that's in front of me. Um, you might be able to see part of that, uh, but because of the angle it's not going to be very clear. You probably will be able to see the monitor that's sitting over on my desk. Uh, I'm uh, in the sim and we'll start off on the runway. Uh, but the first thing I have to do is get into the device, and I'll do that now. So I just turned out the light. Now I'm going to use a little step stool to get into this thing. Okay, made it in. Now once I'm in, I have a five-point harness that uh, I bought over the internet this week. It keeps me from getting thrown around the cockpit during action. It takes a minute or two to get all the straps uh, worked out. And there are so many wires in here, I have to make sure I don't get caught up in the wires. Okay, I'm turning on the Aura Interactor, which provides vibration to all of this, which also helps in the um, suspension of disbelief. Okay, last strap in. I'm pretty well strapped into the cockpit right now. All right, I'm on the taxiway, and here we go. Checking both sides. Okay, the runway looks clear. Turning on to the active, and now I'm just getting on the center line. Alright, let's see if the brakes work. Semi helped me uh, program the brakes. They work well at slow speeds. At the high speeds, they aren't as efficient, so we have to work on that. Okay, I have a kill switch here that turns on and off the power to the motion portion of the device. 
um, just because I don't like to use up the battery. I, as you saw before, I have a car battery here and I have to charge it every couple of weeks. Um, when I turn the switch on, the device may readjust itself, so we'll see um, where it adjusts itself to. Okay, not much adjustment. All right, I'm going to throttle forward and we'll see what happens. There was a slight pitch up when it uh, sensed some motion. When I get to about 180, I will um, pull back on the stick and hopefully you'll see what the device does. gears up and you can see I'm pitched up about 20 degrees now still an afterburner the way the software works is that it senses what has happened directionally in the sim and feeds that back to the servo motors okay I'm leveled out now I'm gonna pull back on the uh, throttle Okay, now I'm going to make a bank to the left. Pulling back on the stick a little bit. Keep my nose up. And you can see why I need the belt now. I just passed the uh, field. I'm going to come out of the turn. And I'm just going to show you a bank to the other side and if I allow the power to go down the nose falls and you can see that it starts to pitch down I'm going to give it more power and pitch back up there's the base now bank back straightening out And one more bank to get on final. now. And there we go. 